Hello everyone, welcome to techtool.com. So in this video, we are going to solve an SQL query. So basically we are going to write an SQL query for a given problem. Okay. So this is of course not a gate question, but it is really important that you learn how to write a SQL query so that the concepts are clear to you. And then when you get a question in gate or exam similar to that where you are asked about the output of an SQL query and things like that, then it will be pretty easy for you and it will be pretty clear for you that what is happening inside that query when you actually know how to write SQL queries on your own, right? And also it is important that you understand the logic behind the queries because it's not like always you will get a system with MySQL or some other SQL compiler uh, with you where you can actually run the query, you can do trial and error and rectify your query. It will not be always that kind of situation, right? So you should be able to actually write the SQL query using your uh, proper logic. And uh, of course, there can be a little bit of syntactical error or syntax error and stuff like that. But the ultimate logic of your query should be right and it you should be able to write the query without getting an help from some SQL compiler, okay. So uh, in this video, we'll uh, try to see like with a simple problem which is given here, we'll try to see like how to write the corresponding SQL query from scratch, okay. So let us see what this question ask you. So it says that we have an employee table which is maintained in a company and the table lists the employee IDs and names of the employees along with their respective salaries. Okay. So we should have a table with employee ID, name and their corresponding salaries. Okay. So um, next it asks you to write an SQL query to find out the name of the employees, employee or employees who is or are receiving the second highest salary in the company. Okay, so we are to find out the name of the employees. So there can be multiple employees who are receiving the second highest salary, not the highest one, second highest salary in that company. Okay, so um, first let us do one thing, we will just uh, kind of write a simple um, instance of such a table so that it becomes easier for you to understand the query which we will write next. But it is also possible that when these things becomes very clear to you, you understand the logic then of course it is possible to not write any uh, such example table and still do your SQL query directly on paper. Okay. So first let us just populate this table with some example data. Okay, so here is a sample table. We have six rows. I have populated them with IDs from one to six. Uh, I'm not very innovative with names. So I have given the names as E1, E2 to E6 and I have populated some salaries for them. Okay, so now um, again go back to the problem. So we are asking to find out the name of the employees having second highest salary. So first let us see what is the highest salary in this particular uh, example instance. So the highest salary is as you can see is 80,000. So this is highest right. And so the second highest salary in this particular table is 70,000. This is the second highest salary right. So and we have two employees who are receiving the second highest salary. So basically if we write an SQL query to find out the names of the people who are receiving the second highest salary, the final result should contain E3 and E5 because those are the two people who are receiving the second highest salary. Fine? Is it clear? So let us now try to write the actual SQL query to do this thing. So uh, see how uh, from this given example how we find uh, found out the name of the persons who are receiving the second highest salary. So what I did is first we uh, found, found out the highest salary right. So the first step will be to find out the highest salary. 
Now when you know the highest salary, you can next find out the second highest salary by deducting the highest salary from your data set and then getting the second highest, right? So your next step will be to find out the second highest salary. And then once you have the second highest salary with you, then your task is pretty simple. You are uh, trying to just find out the name of the employees who are receiving that particular second highest salary. So which is 70,000 in this particular case. So you are basically finding out the name of the employees who are receiving 70,000 as their salary. So of course the third step is to find out the names of the employees who are getting the second highest salary. Okay, so these are the three steps by which you will be getting the final SQL query. So let me write it down one by one. So the first step is to find out the highest salary. So what will be the SQL query for that? So I want to select the highest salary. So for that we have an aggregate function called max. So we want to select the max salary and from which table of course your employee table. So let's see the name of the table is employee and we are not interested to do any grouping or anything like that so we have the entire table with us and we want to find out the maximum salary so this part of the query will give you 80,000 for this particular example instance and next when we have the maximum salary with us what is next we need to find out the second highest salary how to do that so I'll write down the outer label query which uses the value written by this query inside query. So I'll write down to find out again the max salary from the same table but now we will have an extra condition. So we will say that we are interested in only those rows which are not actually the maximum or actually have value less than the maximum value. So I'm getting my point. So what I'm doing is from the employee table, the same table, we are selecting those rows where the salary information, the salary value is less than the maximum salary what we have obtained till now. Okay, so the maximum salary what we would have obtained for this particular example is 80,000. So now in this next outer query, what we are doing is we are getting the maximum salary out of those rows where the salary is less than the max salary what we have got before. So we will consider the rows where it is not 80,000. So it's 40,000, 70,000, 70,000 and this 45,000. And then we are selecting the max salary. So this should be smaller. Let me correct. Okay, so we are getting the maximum salary from those four rows which excludes 80,000. So we will be getting 70,000 as the result of this outer query. Okay, so now we have the third part left. So we need to find out the name of the employees who are actually receiving this particular salary, right? So now we need to write the outermost SQL query. So let me use another color here. So now we are interested to find out the name of the employees. So we'll be selecting the name from the same table, of course. But now our condition is where the salary is actually equal to the salary which is being given to you by this inside one. So we have the second highest salary. Um, we get it from this yellow um, query and that salary, if the employee salary is equal to that second highest salary, we are selecting those name of the employees. So this is our like the final query. So this whole thing is the query we intended to write. Of course, there can be some other method to get the same result out of an instance. But uh, this is kind of the simplest method and a step by step method where you are first finding out the highest salary, excluding that and getting the second highest salary 
and then you are just getting the name of the employees who are receiving that particular salary. So even if there are more than one employees who are receiving the same salary, we will be showing the name of all those employees who are receiving the second highest salary in that particular company. So I hope this uh, particular example was clear to you. If it was not, do let me know in the comment section and do let me know about your feedback as well like how you think it is best to learn the SQL queries and uh, how you think it's best to practice these things so that you can actually solve when you have a MCQ kind of question which asks you about the output of some query and stuff like that. Uh, so to me it seems like it, it's very important that you understand the concept and you understand how to write the queries on your own and then it becomes really easy to solve such kind of questions where you are just need you just need to find out the output okay so yes do let me know your ideas as well and um, see you in the next videos where we will um, learn more examples we'll solve more problems and uh, okay so see you then thank you if you like this video and you want us to create more such videos please don't hesitate to like share and subscribe to TechTut.